Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? And in the lane, the snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in an electric liberty land. Hey everybody, welcome to the preamble on this Christmas day for Electric Liberty Land, episode number 156. And, you know, I wanted to say a big thank you to a lot of people out there. You heard my drunken, rambling call to action for all of you to support the show as I mentioned, 2020 is going to be a big year for us as far as some decisions that we have to make. And I ask for you to support us, to show us that you give a damn. And a lot of you did. And I am very touched by uh, the amount of patrons that we've added on. However, guys, it's not too late to get on board. Uh, you can still get your Merry Taxation is Death mug. That's in the Lions of Liberty store. You can still join up on our Patreon and support the show to get all of our fantastic bonus content that we are putting out, including uh, we're still going to be doing some Degenerate Gamblers, Do Nothing Man, our uh, Rick and Morty and South Park recaps, although they're going to be going on a little hiatus. But don't worry, we've got plenty of other content in the works for you that will be uh, debuting in the new year. So a big thank you from the Lions of Liberty and from me, Brian, uh, for all of the support, all of you listeners out there. Now let's uh, get into the show. Welcome to Electric Liberty Land, here on the Lions of Liberty podcast, your weekly shot of culture, comedy, and liberty with your host, Brian McWilliams. All right, welcome to Electric Liberty Land's a very merry Electric Liberty Land holiday special yes welcome everyone it's just me tonight i was supposed to be joined by several people you know it's my old my lions of liberty buddies but they said they had big plans tonight they were i don't know they were they were gonna go do something out something out with the people they were trying to convert some people uh i think they were gonna drink some walk around a couple neighborhoods at night you know how libertarians like to meet women and i thought to myself i can't deny you guys a christmas special I got to be here kind of like, you know, the, the old Christmas carols of old where you sit by a fire and you just read a book. You know, maybe I'll read you a little, a little Dickens by the fireplace and drink a little whiskey. Reminisce about the times we've had together as libertarians. And then there's a knock at the door on this Christmas day. My God, is it someone bringing a goose? Is it a child telling me that I've been visited by three Christmas spirits? I just don't, I guess I should wrap it up and get the door. Ugh. All right, let me see. And here it's, oh, oh, it's my. Hey, what's up, buddy? My Stop playing Christmas with model. your dick, Brian. I don't Muzzle tell time. me how to spend Christmas, Odie. Come on in here, you <laughs> sons of bitches. What are you guys doing? Are you caroling tonight? You don't wear pants on Christmas? Is that a Christmas thing or what? Yeah, no. How are you supposed to fuck the prime rib if you're wearing pants on Christmas? Get it here. It's, it's JB. It's it's Odie. It's Rico. It's Howie. And it's Mark. Guys, come in. Come Hello. sit by the fire. Pull up a... Won't you pull up a seat and stay a while? I feel like I was just here with more tiki torches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, when I was saying they will not replace us, I meant elves. I wasn't talking about any specific... <laughs> I was talking about your birthday party, not that weird rally you held. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Day, either way, no, either way. Brian, you're right. Those elves on the shelves totally work for the NSA. <laughs> Camera, little tiny cameras are like, elves will not replace us. They're recording oh, every, everything we do. I haven't bought into that. Well, guys, right, so this is where we're doing the live naughty or nice recording, right? The, no, 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 no. We're not. We're canceled we, for this. Or did we, are, did we do I don't know. I can't keep track. Did we already do Didn't that? Didn't we do that? I feel I've like been drunk know. since about two weeks. Out of your nice. Mark that. Don't ask me. But well, welcome. Sit around the listen. fire. Be honest. I cover <laughs> my earphones. Say whatever you feel. Naughty. Naughty. Oh, is this Mark? We're judging Mark? Naughty. Wait a minute. He can hear everything we're saying. Yeah, what is this shit? It's like he's putting... <laughs> he half admitted he hated me earlier. Naughty. <laughs> well, I'll full admit I hate you. So do I get a nice from everybody else? <laughs> All the other lines Nobody. of liberty say nice now. All right, well, come on in. Take a seat. Only by the Rico fire. didn't chime in to turn on me. <laughs> Rico, we're WrestleMania crazy. buddies. Yeah, now you know who your true friends are, Mark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rico probably hates me too. God damn it. Howie, everybody hates you. It's part of your charm. You just got to accept it and move on. But guys, ever since you woke me up at 7 a.m. to brush your comb or brush your beard, 
He woke us both up. Yeah, Howie at Forkfest. <laughs> woke up. And, not, and it wasn't 7 a.m. It was like 6 a.m. Every day. The crack of ass. <laughs> what were you, Howie, what were you watching? Dead. Roseanne on TV? Roseanne. <laughs> Very <laughs> trippy Roseanne. <laughs> Wait, you brushed my beard? He showers. He clim- trims and brushes his beard like Santa. And then he gets into bed next to me and opens a beer. And he's like, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's TV. It's, uh, this is at Porkfest for context, not on a random Wednesday at Brian's house. <laughs> <laughs> it be much fun. Although how he's how he's like my Randy Quaid from National uh, or Christmas Vacation, he just shows up in a fucking RV that's beat to shit. He's like, "Hey, we're staying on New Year's." <laughs> <laughs> I figure that's every Saturday for Howie. <laughs> wakes up at 6 a.m. and starts brushing his beard and then watches Roseanne. <laughs> it just happened to be Saturday, so. Yeah. But I will not watch The Connors without Roseanne. No, I bite, I'll bite. No, I'll bite that as well. I won't do it. Fuck that noise. Well, welcome, Boycott, guys. Well, divest. She is why the show is funny. And, 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 and. What is it? Can we have, like, The Connors BDS? Boycott, divest, and <laughs> sanction. I was trying to figure out. I was like. <laughs> What? You know, with the, the thing with uh, Israel? Okay, I get it. Yes, the boycott. Yeah, that, I thought, all the, I the thought you were just reasons. missing a letter there. But is meanwhile just economically motivated? Yeah, I get it. Oh, BDSM? Politically. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. I thought it's like, you're, you're missing a letter, man. I think most of most of the, of the uh, Congress would vote for the BDSM. I, think I thought Howie was going to say BBD, but uh, that's just a <laughs> search terms. BDE? BBD is JB's Christmas wish, by the way. He wrote to Santa Claus asking for one. Wait, are we talking about BDE, <laughs> Big Dick Energy? We got no, lots no, no. of <laughs> we have too many. We got too many acronyms going here. Oh, God. What are we doing here? Christmas. Why are we here? I forget. <laughs> you guys were caroling. I heard you caroling outside. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was you. Excellent though. carolers. You guys are the best. What's carolers. that sound? It's a horse. Oh, that's just us at the door again. Oh, oh wait. No, no that sounds like it's like uh, is, this is that the way? National Guard at your door, Howie? The National oh. Guard is here. I think it's wait, but I do think there's something on the roof. Everybody, wait, it's quiet. Well, hold up, wait. Before, hey, whatever's on the roof, shut up. What are you guys all drinking? Yeah, you, you drinking on Christmas Eve? Christmas Day? Yeah, I'm drinking a festive drink here. What are you drinking? Evil genius. Jamie? Evil genius. Santa, I know him. A festive saison ale Ooh. brewed with rose hips and black currants. Oh, nice. Excellent. We just call them currants. I don't see color of uh, most teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Odie, what Fair about enough. you? What are you? What are you sucking down this Christmas day yeah. when you're Since out? Since this court? is a, a totally separate day from us uh, recording Naughty or Nice, it I'm drinking a different right. beer, different drink. I have a uh, Penn Brewery St. Nicholas Bach. Delicious uh, winter Ooh. ale. Very Damn, good. Very nice. Good. Keeping it. Keeping it Christmas. Oh, what about festivity. you? I am drinking uh, bourbon and eggnog. Oh, even oh, better. Keeping the theme you going. Make, do you buy it pre-made or make your own? Oh, I made my own. And actually, I was staring at the bar wondering, do I go with bourbon? Do I go with uh, a regular brandy? whiskey? Or, or do I go with a spiced rum? Mm. So mm. I chose the brandy. Or I, I, not bourbon, brandy. That's what I picked. You, tell. you mean bourbon? No. Or do, no, I mean brandy. Okay. I took brandy. <laughs> Well, she's a fine girl. Brandy. Oh, God, this guy did Brandy. She's not like Gloria. Gloria, no, you got my number. Uh, Lord, did we just write. Did we just write the mashup of Brandy and Gloria? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for it. Gloria, she's coming. a fine, she's a fine girl. She's not she like Gloria. Blonde. Gloria, <laughs> produced by Lions of Liberty of Studios. Night. Brandy, you're a fine <laughs> girl. And Gloria, what if, ever, <laughs> what if after six years of Liberty podcast, we get famous for doing mashups of like eighties and nineties, <laughs> eighties and fifties songs? <laughs> the best Take song it. by Laura Blanagan is "Self Control." We all know that. You lose yourself. You lose your self control. Howie, what are you about you on this Christmas? What are you drinking? Oh, just like on Monday, I'm still drinking the uh, Guinness Milk Stout brewed in the Baltimore. Two days this man's been How many times did you go out while your wife was asleep to get it between uh, Monday and now? Once. Liar. <laughs> well, I mean, since it was actually just ten minutes ago, yes, once. Oh, wait, wait to let him peek behind the curtain. And Mark, what about you? You we we thought open up the kimono, boys. Open it up. up. Well, like Rico, I was a man with a choice, with an eggnog and a choice to make. And I chose spiced rum in this case. So I have mm. and I had a ton of cinnamon. I hope you didn't like, like, oh, <laughs> I hope you didn't, didn't heat your cinnamon. eggnog up. I did not I actually had too much cinnamon. And it's, it's like kind of tickling the back of my throat on the top. From just Can like, I convince you to eat a spoonful <laughs> of cinnamon live on the podcast? 
I might no, do that. Spoonful if we get, enough, spoonful if we get enough Pride memberships uh, upgrades on the live stream in the next 10 minutes, I might do that. We'll see. That would have to be a, to do that. I mean, that's pretty, pretty painful from what I've seen. If we get no, another no, no. $100 in, in pledges in the next, uh, while we're on the show, I'll do it. <laughs> Mark, do uh, the nutmeg instead. Uh, I don't have nutmeg. You no, could, that's the one that gets you high. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, high. nutmeg gets you crazy yeah. high. I have actually, Here, I have like a thing. nutmeg root in my fridge. For here's some the reason. thing: the amount of nutmeg that gets you high, the nutmeg that like gets you like really sick, maybe die, is a small window. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, 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 yeah, it's it's like dying or getting. Yeah, it's not you can it. die from nutmeg. Nutmeg was you the original. Die from oh, anything. Go. Die from Every toxicologist will tell Top. you it's in the dose. A, to- a poison's in the dose. Tops pretty much anything will kill yeah, you. Yeah, but the, but the yeah, get sure. high and the die is pretty close. And when it comes to my nutmeg, except for marijuana, will not kill you. No, so I said pretty much. You'll pass out before you can smoke. I don't enough. think mushrooms will kill you either. What is? Do you guys hear that? that up on the that? rooftops. Clip, 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 clip. Up on the roof. Up on the. No, roof. no, that's right. Wrong. Is that, but is that, that actually something on your roof? I, well, look, I, it's, it's Christmas Eve. I mean, I like I. I I presume that Santa Claus is here, but he's just, maybe he's gained a little weight. Maybe it's a little extra. Jesus Christ. This is getting. Okay. Crazy. It's getting a little. Somebody let the goat out of the basement. It's getting a little. No, I, it does smell a little goaty though. It smells a little funky. I mean, I know that uh, odor Matt, uh, he checks his gut health. It's probably not him. Rico. Is it you? Have you been eating goat ripping ass JB? Anybody? Is it a little bit creepy in here? I have not hung out with the Greeks in a while. I'm here for you. All right. Well, who was that? Again, my guess is is Rico. Rico, is that you? Is that your bedtime voice? It wasn't. It wasn't. Hmm. I'm here for you, Mark Claire. For me? What? For me? <laughs> the hell are you talking you order about? Amazon you, to my you, house. <laughs> you look ridiculous. What is this costume you're wearing? I am right, the okay. Liberty Crab. I know Brian's. Re- oh wait, Brian is still in the room. Who is right, that? Right, Jason right, Stapleton. Hmm? Who I'm did right. you hire to play this Krampus? Though? This is so stupid. Come on. It is I, the Liberty Krampus, come for you, Mark right, Claire. This, this is really, really funny. But yeah. based upon a report put together by the indefensible Christopher Steele, indicating you as Chris Jay- Spangle. What? Yes, <laughs> Christopher Spangle. <laughs> 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 Christopher Spangle has created a report given to me by the FBI that implicates you in crimes against liberty. You, Mark Claire, must come with me. Nah, I'm not feeling like I'm going to do that, actually. Too late, jerk off! Let's go! No, I'm not going to... Hey, hey, what the... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mark's gone! Be dead. Is yeah. Mark dead? Does this... Fuck... Okay, well, that was some crazy shit. Wait, do you guys hear Mark in a bag? Hey, Mark, did he put you in a bag? <laughs> he might have. Is that a ball Sounds gag? Like he's in a bag. Is that a <laughs> bag or a ball Wait, gag? Was Give that? Was that? Was, he's in a gimp suit. <laughs> was that Liberty Krampus? Is it, yeah, I've heard of. I, Brian, I, this I think this might be your fault. After you had that immigration debate with Mark. I think you really convinced him. He told me, he's like, I think we should build a wall. I, he's oh like, my I, God, no. I really think we should do it. Like, that might be what. lies. Although, it is not truly Spangle. <laughs> it is also those pieces of shit from the fag cast also were involved in the report. Ooh. Anyway, Liberty Krampus, I got to go. But here's how you get your buddy back. Mark, give him a quick grunt. Let him know you're alive. Nope, guess he's dead. <laughs> oh, so just just undo the zipper of that was, gimp suit and then we can hear what I he thought, has to say i hey, thought we could move on if we didn't hear a grunt i was ready to move on and do a different show or? do we do we negotiate with terrorists or not? To be done tonight liberty krampus must why does way. why does krampus sound like yoda half the time liberty krampus? <laughs> baby yoda <laughs> not sound like yoda you're lucky Liberty Krampus can continue doing this voice. It hurts his voice, his throat. Liberty Krampus demands that you showcase your own Liberty Christmas spirit. The Liberty Krampus demands Christmas carols in the vein of Liberty, sung to him in voices most high, most perfect. 
And then we may decide to release the Mark Claire. The Mark Claire. We can do this. JB, do you know we wish you a free market? Oh, I think I do. Right. Do you guys know that one? <laughs> I love that one. I love it. Me, 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 me. Let's let's try that one. Let's try that one. <laughs> All right, lay them on them, guys. This is exciting. All right, everybody, let's 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 yeah, hear this, guys. One, Don't fuck this shit two, up. One, two, three. We wish, we wish you a free market. Well, we not going well. wish you a free market. We, we wish you a free market and, and a tax-free tax new year. year. Good, Good economics, economics we bring, bring based, based on Mises and gold. And gold. Economics for Christmas, Christmas and a happy new year. Come on, okay, we're not, we're not, we not. We got to keep up. Can with I? Me can here. I say one you thing? Keep up with me here. Very important. That reminded me, hundred percent. Finish the goddamn song, or else Mark's not gonna get free. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, finish the song. Finish the song. Finish the song. Oh, bring us a gold standard. standard. Oh, bring, bring us a gold standard. Can you guys get someone on the same oh, page? Bring us a golden standard and an Austrian <laughs> New Year. <laughs> we won't go until, go until we, we get, get some. some. We won't go, go until, until we you get, get some. some. We <laughs> well, come on, we get song some. JB. So bring some out here. JB's we wish you a free market. market. We, we wish you a free market. We wish you a free market and a happy, happy new year. year. JB, you sang that song literally like fucking backup rappers in rap. JB, songs. they're gonna kill Mark now. They're gonna kill Mark. <laughs> that. That reminded me exactly of one time in Canada with JB and Matt Weltman. They sang Behind Blue Eyes karaoke. <laughs> they got booed so, off the stage. I think I was on right tempo. JB, what were you doing? Ooh, liberty I, don't, I just, uh, why were you going so slow? You why were going, were you going maybe I, maybe. so slowly. All right, you guys were terrible. That, I think uh, may, maybe Mark it was is definitely dead. Maybe it was a duet. Rico, but, can we sing it again? Will you sing it with me and see if it can? No. <laughs> nope, I have my own song, and I've been uh, called the songbird of my generation. <laughs> so I will free Mark with my rendition of the most wonderful Christmas song ever. I saw mommy ticking Lord Wigbon underneath the Mises toe last night. She didn't see me creep. Down the stairs to have a peep. She thought that I was tucked up in my bedroom beating meat. Then I saw mommy tickle Ludwig Von and tell him that his philosophy was right. right. Oh, what a laugh it would have been if Paul Krugman had only seen <laughs> mommy kissing Ludwig Von last night. Surely Mark will be saved oh. now. Oh, sure. Surely, just that might is. do it, actually. <laughs> I just just might the do best it. You can see why they call you the songbird. I, have I, none I of you that. ever heard any of these songs. Jesus fucking Christ. It's simple. You turn on the radio. They're on the radio. It's easy to hear them. I, I think I think I have a pretty good one. Have you guys heard of White Christmas? Oh, I think yes. I can. Odie, please. Maybe. Is Maybe it, if I can redeem, I've heard the, that what one we've from heard so Hunter, far. Hunter Biden saying that to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, go, it goes a little something like this: I'm dreaming of a white Christmas without protesters saying no, where the treetops glisten and children listen. With being told that the state wants them to know. Nice. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright. If the shitty postal service, which should be abolished, whoever says on time, and may all your Christmases be wide but they don't have to do you do what you want to just get out of my face I know, little, that was that was all right if i'm being honest if i'm being honest best one so far 
still severely under par. My God, how do you have? I don't even know how you can sing that badly. One of you is black. You're terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That's because I got right. the duet. You're right. I'm Literally a solo Kirk artist Krampus. all the way. All right, just, one, just yeah. kill Mark. Sing please. it again, then, JB. Pick just kill one, him. Sing it again. No, I'll pass. No, oh, cool. <laughs> typical. Right, what, what, if, what happened to Brian? Can Brian sing I'm one here. of these? I'm just letting you guys say, God, you guys are terrible. It's, it, it figures me and Mark are the only people that can sing here, and he takes Mark instead of taking like fucking JB. JB drafts Obama on his Liberty team, and Mark's the one that gets put in the bag. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's not Sorry, right. Here we go. Brian, it's not right. All right, here we go. Krampus. All right, hold on. Let me, let me put on my suit. I got a Grinch suit. I didn't know it was going to come to this Krampus, but I have a Grinch suit. I'm going to sing you in the tune of Mr. Grinch, Mr. Socialism. Here we go. You're a mean one, Mr. Socialism. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, and you're thieving, and you steal, Mr. Socialism. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Socialism. Your heart's an empty hole. Your history's full of failure, mass graves, and no soul, Mr. Socialism. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a foul one, Mr. Socialism. Your lies are all so vile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Socialism. Given a choice between the two of you, I take the seasick crocodile. You're a rotter. Song's a little long. Mr. Socialism, <laughs> the kings of sinful sots. Your cause tomato shortages, even though they rot lots. Mr. Socialism, you're a three decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. And that's how you kill your capitalist political rivals. You nauseate me, Mr. Socialism, with a nose, you super nose. You're a crooked ideology loved by ignorant PC tots, Mr. Socialism. Your soul's an appalling dump heap overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable. Mangle up and tangled up knots. You're a foul one, Mr. Socialism. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of authoritarianism. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Socialism. The three words that best describe you as follows, and I quote. Stink, stank, stunk. Ha! Uh, Krampus? Hello? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Yes! Yes! What do you think about that, Liberty Krampus? So-so. Uh, so-so! So-so! Tell you what, how about this? Even though Mark's sick, is that a different voice than I was doing earlier? Tell you about I'll tell you this. Even though <laughs> Mark is sick and Kermit the frag. That sounded like Cookie Moss, I think. <laughs> Liberty crab is dirty <laughs> cookie monster. <laughs> C is for K, K is for Krampus is good enough for me. All right, even though I know Mark's sick, I think he can nail. I saw mommy kissing Ludwig Vaughn better than Rico. Mark. What? <laughs> Spigot. 
Say I'm it, Mark. I'm, 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 I'm stuck in a bag. I'm not doing that. <laughs> say I'll it, say Mark. In the bag. No, I'm staying in the bag. Thanks. Come on. Can, I pussy. think you'd rather die than sing. It I sounds like that. Than, yeah. I would rather die in this bag than sing. Pick this one of three. A big what's ass. Come on, yeah. No, I'm not singing. I'm staying in the bag. Well, we don't need, we don't need to hear a second song again. I'll just kill it. him already, Jesus! <laughs> just kill me. It's what a dick! Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to carry this asshole around anyway. How we can host the Monday show? What's okay. This happens in the script I read. He's, Monday show is now Boogaloo Radio. It's hard to carry <laughs> along the rooftops. I don't know. All right, fatty, get out of the bag. You're free. Hey, you guys, we did it! Wait. It's a Christmas miracle. Woo! Yeah. Yay. What would be a bigger Christmas miracle is if somehow whoever edits this podcast and put music behind your horrible edits. Off-key, <laughs> offbeat renditions. But we'll see what happens. You know, it would have been nice if you put the music in ahead of time that we could hear it and actually be on key. You well, know. you know, what would have been nice is if you jerk offs were available more than one day out of the goddamn month to record this shit. We didn't have to do back to back on the same night. I had to record another podcast. That would have been nice, Odie. It'd be nice if we were all sober right now, too, but I'm not. That would not be nice. Who wants to be sober right now, except maybe Rico? And I think even he's happy to be drunk again. Hey, everybody. I don't know if you're having a white Christmas or not out there, but I'll tell you where it's white and cold, yet fervent and warm with the fires of liberty. And that is over beyond the wall with the free man. Beyond the Wall. Yes, it's a frozen tundra up there if you're a Game of Thrones fan. But our buddy Pete Quinones, uh, he is rocking and rolling with his podcast, A Free Man Beyond the Wall. Now, if you know anything about Pete, you know that he's also a managing editor of the Libertarian Institute, and you can go and find some fantastic articles by him over there that he posts almost daily. But on top of that, he's podcasting. He's podcasting, nating, probably, in this holiday season. But that doesn't mean you can't find all of his shows at Free Man Beyond the Wall or by going to anywhere your podcasts are downloaded and putting in Free Man Beyond the Wall. So let's get back into our show. In the meantime, you download those episodes, and after this ends, you can check them out. I'm not happy about anything in life. <laughs> Let's be honest, Amen, brother. Here we go again. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> I think you say, you, might, you want to go in that bag? It was pretty nice in there. I do. You might, you might like it. I actually really liked it. One of the bags. Maybe the lack of air will make me pass out. Finally get a good night's sleep. Unconscious. <laughs> I don't even know how long. I, 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 all right. So anyway, guys, we beat the Liberty Krampus. But it, let me ask you this. We did our naughty and nice show, right? And I know we haven't prepped for this. What is this bullshitting? If you could send Liberty Krampus after somebody, let's say it's somebody in the libertarian world, you could send Liberty Krampus after him, take him away, beat him up in a bag. I mean, not aggression principle, but let's, you know, presume they did something. <laughs> Who would it be? Who would you send the Krampus after? Who would the Krampus have to redeem? It has to go after someone in the libertarian world. Well, it doesn't have to, I guess. To bag up and beat with sticks. Well, let's let's do libertarian world first. Let's pick that first, then we can pick outside of that. Yeah, libertarian world first. Whoever's got an idea, then we can... The world! Because he's trying to say he's a libertarian. He's trying to run away now, but he's not running away fast enough because he's an old fucking man. What song could Bill Weld sing to get himself out of the bag? That's really the question. (laughs) Fight on Harvard? Where'd he go to school? (laughs) Is it a non-zero chance that Bill Weld gets the Libertarian nomination? I think it, it's not oh zero. Oh, my God. Yeah. Definitely non-zero. Yeah, it might be, be crazy. high. It might even be high. I, I, mean, I don't know about high. <laughs> what, what, is, what is high? Like 15%? It, it, it's, it's a non-zero <laughs> chance if he if gets Bill it. If Bill Weld entered the Libertarian presidential race today, he would either be the front runner or the second in or the second to like maybe Jacob Hornberger. This just is don't not my. Why. This is not why I, uh, something I, I think should be the case. It is merely my assessment of the reality of the situation because most people never realize this until they get to the convention that the libertarians online don't go to conventions. Some of them do, a few of them do, but most of the people at the libertarian convention 
are people who have been in the Libertarian Party for 15, 20 years and don't go online and don't get involved in these conversations. So the, how things come across there are completely different than how you think they are in this reality you think you live in online. So we, mm-hmm. listen, guys, you don't have to worry about Bill huh. Weld. Do you know who we have to worry about, honestly? Hillary Clinton. Lincoln Chafee. <laughs> Lincoln Lincoln, why Lincoln Chafee? Nobody likes Lincoln Chafee. Uh, no, he's he's probably, gonna he, swoop I, I, in, and some of these people that Mark was just talking about are gonna be like, "Oh like, yeah, Lincoln Chafee." No, I'm still worried favorite. about John Kasich swooping in, or Lincoln some, some other. Will be the Bill Weld if he when if he announces. Yeah. Well, when well, let me announces, ask you this: What obvious. would it take for Bill Weld to wait, for Bill Weld to to woo you over? What would it take for me? It would take him marching into the convention with an army of hookers. <laughs> and blow, <laughs> and blow. <laughs> And Bill maybe if coming to Memphis in the background, obviously or Rico, like that. Rico uh, Howie, Odie, Mark, we all know the JB. We all know if you're going to have hookers, yeah, blow. We, they just they if come. Bill together. Weld showed up with a legalized peanut cocaine, butter and jelly. It's like when Bill you buy Weld a toy and it comes with batteries. T-shirt. If it was so, just the hookers, I would stick to with my principles. <laughs> <laughs> Is what it, it going to have the Apollo Creed "Living in America" music in the background oh, when he comes shit. in? Damn, man. Because if yeah. that happens, then I'm on board. Living in America. Dude, and then the hookers real. have trays of blow coming. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm on board. Yeah. I mean, uh, can on, this be, on. Brian, can this be your 41st birthday party? Yeah. Bill Weld's listening right now, no, taking notes. Be, so so no. I get the hookers and I get the this flow. AB's 40th birthday party, which is what, two years? <laughs> it's too far up. away. Is someone turning 40 next week? Next week. Somebody odious guys guy is getting close, right? Me? I'm nowhere close to 40. 30, I'm, 30, I'm, I'm younger yet. than Odie. What? You're 36. 36. Am I what? the only one who is 40? I'm not 40. Yeah, I am. Be soon. Rico's 40. Almost. <sighs> Only but like a few months, like are five you, months or something. Are you 36, JB? Yeah, I'm 36. You're, I was born in July. Okay. That's, no, you weren't a freshman when I was... Uh, no. I didn't yeah, graduate when you were a freshman. I, Pretty sure he knows how old he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're wrong. How old are you in baking soda and vinegar years? That's what I want to know. How many? How many? How old are you in volcano years? I've All made right. probably like three of those things. <laughs> well, I've never made one. I've only more. seen them like TV shows of like what kids are supposed to do in science class. <laughs> yeah. Well, since this, is, <laughs> since this is the Christmas episode that no one's going to listen to. Like we got you know, half the listen. So thank you all who download this. I think this is all like it's not half the listens. It's all like parents. A, it's, it's all like, like dads different. and moms who are like sick of listening to their children, and so they put in the Lions Will Be podcast in the kitchen where they're cooking, or they uh, they take a nap, quote unquote. They get escape from the family. They're out in the garage. Oh, it's to be a great show for those little fucks to listen to. Oh, I know. Yeah, they don't want to listen to this shit. But <laughs> I do. But this is a Christmas show. <laughs> let's do a little let's do a little sweetie thing non-libertarian shit what's the best Christmas present you ever got <coughs> wait aren't we, don't we still have to like send Christmas Krampus uh, Jewish never people? got a Christmas present I'm gonna meet myself for this Christmas one. Krampus wait. is gone he left because Mark oh, he, hold he, on well I didn't get my answer I mean, ass around. you know alright make it quick I'm gonna stand brand my Christmas Krampus is going after Chris Pangle oh okay yeah we're, oh, oh. We totally did this. I thought we abandoned it oh Chris Pangle shots Why? fired for can you expand on that because well, he attacked, I mean, because he I mean I was, as I said, staying on brand, he's kind of like my liberty arch enemy. Nothing personal. <laughs> How many liberty <laughs> arch enemies do you have? It's more than one. I Who's the it's other? all personal. I, that's with the only one I know about. I think Nick Sarwark would count. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Count. Oh, he's no. not like a liberty aqueduct. Of he's it. not an arch he's, enemy. It's an he's the enemy of all liberty, not just me. He's like <laughs> poison ivy to Batman. He's not the joke. Come on. Wait, Nick Spang- or Chris so, Spangle. So, so you're going no, after Spangle and Ivy. Any- Spangle is the Joker. If I have to send Christmas Krampus after someone in the Libertarian Movement, send him after Chris Spangle. I would it's send Christmas Krampus after the Fag Cast for stealing <laughs> for stealing our entire our program. whole premise and all of our bonus <laughs> content. Yes. What's funny is that they couldn't have stolen our bonus content because they've never been a part of our bonus <laughs> stuff and never well i guess not it. it's but you know do you know who has stuff, it was just a they have spies they have spies on the inside it's like they got fisa warrants on our uh bonus content well i told you they were complicit in submitting that uh christopher Steele report on Mr. marx Mr. libertarian uh misgivings to the fbi that got krampus on him Which, in the by the way we never got any details about what i did no we did we found out mark it was we gotta wait for the report 
after your immigration debate with Brian, you said, oh, yeah. you know what? You're right. You were f- I'm for the wall. I'll build the wall. And that's why Christmas Krampus came after you. Yeah. That was after a, a little bit of farther digging, I did see that Dave Smith and Tom Woods were involved too in that report. Those sons of bitches. I'm not surprised about Tom Woods, you know, dark Tom Woods and all, but Dave Smith, I thought was a man of principle. You know, it's like you, ha- you have a kid and suddenly you don't give a shit. You just sacrifice because oh, he just cares about the money now. Shame on you, Dave Smith, sicking Liberty Krampus on poor Mark over here. He <laughs> hears probably the th- It's probably that Owen Benjamin influence in his ear. You know? Anti-Jew. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> All the great ones are. <laughs> is, uh, I, I was intrigued by his nuclear weapons don't exist. Theory. I think I'm on board. I might I mean, be on I mean, board, seriously. actually. I need seriously. to do some research like, into They it. keep telling you, like, oh, the nuclear weapons, you can't, like, go there for a thousand years. It's like, but yeah, but no one ever left Hiroshima. <laughs> True. <laughs> They're all still there. Could have just a little been a weird bunch of... That we act like it's the worst thing ever. But then you wait on us. A bunch of regular bombs? Uh, what? Yeah, I did see that. I was going to comment. I did see it. I was like, oh, I can't. I, knew, JB, I can't write it. Get out science, of here with your science, JB. I was like, we I don't... just fucking care. JB, have you, seen, have, you seen a, have you seen a nuclear bomb go off, JB? No, I haven't. Yeah, and every how time do you, I... How do you, how how do you do you boom! That's what you should have said, JB. So, season two of Dr. Science will be JB building nuclear <laughs> bombs over and over again. <laughs> Drunk, of course. Of course. <laughs> Naturally, well, like, I needed some right. fissionable material. If we can like get Rick, Rick fissionable material, I think I should again, be able to do it. I'm gonna once again <laughs> build well, a JB, nuclear bomb. Now, JP, how's everybody living <laughs> in Hiroshima? Not heard this before. First, you take the atom, and things, you take the other atom, and this smash it mechanism. <laughs> now you rub together real hard with your fingers. This is like, oh no, you just split them. Where like, did they test them? Split them. They test them. No one said anything about a thousand years. Where are you getting this from? So they blew up all these ones in like the desert here. We can still go to the desert though, can't we? No one said you couldn't. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm contesting. All these nuclear bombs blow them out there. Shouldn't we not be able to? Why? Yeah, but if there's like nuclear fallout and then it we falls bomb Japan, like the where? Ground. So yeah, the people Japan's are just, just living there now. Well, Everyone's can you just... go to uh, Chernobyl and hang out right now? Well, it's that's not a nuclear bomb. tell you not to go, but different. there was wildlife there wildlife that lived there and lived through the thing. And it's it's yeah. the wildlife is thriving. Yeah, it's like I just don't know where you're getting this thousand Nuc- year business from. Nuclear power think, is. I've never is heard real. anyone say well, that. Before. Are you saying so? Nuclear bombs are good for you? No. But I'm not <laughs> no research will tell Howie. They you, said you, eggs were bad for us. And oh, now we got you there, Jamie. Uh, he's got you me. just said, you just said. There's two choices. They're not, not the, real. You they're just said the wildlife. Howie. Howie. Yeah, yeah, it's either you can't Hold go on. there for a thousand years. Howie's going to go, or Odie's going to go hunting at a nuclear fallout zone. Dude, you should go hunting in Chernobyl. You'll fucking bag a ton The government's going to put nuclear weapons on the bottom of the food pyramid soon. <laughs> Make sure you get three nukes a day, kids. Make sure your evolution goes on plan. Anyway. No, it, uh, it does make a lot of sense what O. Benjamin was saying, though. Just about, like, the government, if they have a button they can push, that level of fear that that sets in. And then it's, I mean, think about how much policy revolves around it with the countries that have nuclear weapons. Just that dynamic of it is... It's, it's crazy when you start really to really think about it. I mean, the only reason we care about North Korea is allegedly their nuclear capabilities. Same with Iran. Um, Israel. Iran has no nuclear weapons, by the way. Iran yeah. well, definitely well, according not. to you, no one does. So what? Yeah, well, yeah. They, they yeah. No, I wasn't. So. I wasn't no such saying, thing as a nuclear deterrent. Not a good ent- point now. I was entertaining the hypothetical argument. I, I do believe in nuclear weapons. All right. Well, yeah. then, thanks for wasting everyone's time, Howie. Once again, this has been the Howie it's Hour. It's a fun. It's a fun discussion. You don't believe in. <laughs> uh, Owen, ben, here's fun. a good one. Late, a late. We did this last week, or not last week. We did it Monday, but here's a late one. Owen Benjamin, naughty or nice? Hmm. Uh, totally nice. Nice way. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's nice. Big I fan. have no idea. I don't have much of an opinion on the guy. I that- I've, I've listened to nothing except for his appearance on Dave Smith. So I'm 100% okay. engaging on that. But yeah. He seems fun if a bit deranged. You know, that's my assessment of him. You know, I, can't really- that's Howie. I, I agree with him that like uh, transitioning a child is child abuse. Oh, for sure. For sure. 
I mean, the people that don't agree with that, I, I don't even know where to start. It's like, yeah, I don't want to know those people. Well, especially like I was just talking about this in uh, ELL, which we definitely didn't record. I didn't record tonight before we recorded this podcast in the same three hour period. Isn't this ELL? Uh, no, this, uh, yeah. no, this is Felony Friday now. Last Last Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> ELL. I don't know. Oh, what show we're on anymore? But they had the, they had like in the UK the NHS is like a trans transgender like thing and people are like re- resigning because they're like uh number one a lot of these kids we don't think like we're just being over prescribed and uh, misdiagnosed mm-hmm. and also a quarter of kids that are transgender are like autistic so it's kind of uh, bringing up some questions. It's a pretty it's a pretty high number. I mean it's twenty yeah it's yeah. A lot of questions. I think there. that would warrant some further investigation. Not, not to get off topic. Speaking of uh, autistic children, what do you guys think about Greta Th- Thunberg as a uh, time person of the year? That's a joke. Yeah. How? Let's, it it made it sell covers. Here's what it Time magazine covers. does. I will argue for it and against it if given the chance. All right, go. Well, for it, well, I got to hear right, this. All right, for it, for for it. 2019 makes, what makes per, what, what kill children Again. what perfect what perfect representation of 2019 is a petulant child whining about political issues they don't understand that's true the I've against, seen that meme the against is Wait, that's if, not a, that's not if, a four well, no that's a four yes, it it's, it's totally it's represents 2019 influence. it's not about yeah if right, person right. of the year is supposed to represent the the year then that's so, a bang up job so the against mm-hmm. If the person of the year should be whoever influenced our culture the most, whether for good or ill, shouldn't it be Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. It probably that's, should that's have that's been that's Epstein or Trump. <laughs> but did yeah, Trump win it last year? Jeffrey Epstein. Did Epstein, Epstein influence our culture? Oh, yeah, dude. All that's, the, yeah, that's, that remains how, to be oh, seen. No, that, how, that's I see Epstein didn't done? kill himself everywhere. And yeah, that, just, just changed, from the, just changed that, the whole that's culture. That's internet meme, though. People don't believe uh, it, the it's, authorities it's anymore than that, on the big things. Yeah, like, it's, people, it's, it's opened people's eyes for sure. Colby just Covington to, said it in his UFC interview. He was like, who? Uh, Colby Covington. He's like a martial arts fighter, or MMA fighter. Yeah. And he's a big Trump Oh, yeah. People said it on Fox News. one interview, he's like, FC didn't kill himself. They're like, what do they you have, think about your fight? He's like, FC didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> Even on Fox, they had a guy come in to talk about like uh, the ISIS leader being killed. And the first thing he says before they even talk about it is like, FC didn't kill himself. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it remain, like, I, I agree with you, but it remains, just like all the things we're talking about before, I want to see if this really sticks or if this yeah. is just a fad. It, it, it's going to, it's a fad. There's too much going through the news cycle all the time. And especially because the media intentionally does that shit too. Like, there's a reason that we're not hearing about Afghanistan. There's a reason we're not hearing about any of this real shit. They focus people on bullshit. They focus on diversion, pitting people against each other. The Epstein thing, they intentionally didn't cover and moved along. I mean, ABC's reporter was talking about how she should have blown it up and they didn't want to do it. It's all, none of it's going to stick. And if people really cared, then I, I didn't even hear what Howie said before, where Epstein, you said his plastic surgeon died in a plane crash. Yes. So like, last yeah, week. I, oh, I, I, what? who is Wait, recently? Who, recently? Yeah. Like last week. So who? I, I'm <laughs> Brian, I was arguing. I think he's still alive. Who is and linked if you, if to you more think plane crash? Got, crash hey, death Howie, Howie, Howie. Let, let Rico talk for a minute. Who is linked to more plane crash deaths than anyone else in popular culture? I'm not afraid to say on this show, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. You mean gremlins? <laughs> I was going to say she who can. Yeah, they're on the wing. They're on the wing. <laughs> and another person. It's almost like they're winking and laughing. They're like, ha, ha, ha. You're not, we're not even trying Dude, anymore. It's like, those new pictures killer, it's like of- the wet bandits turning on the faucets at home yeah. alone. Well, it's, I, I don't think it's that they're not trying. It's that they didn't like, they didn't have to try before, like before the internet. And we had all these different avenues of information. It was so easy to hide stuff, but now it's just all in plain sight. And but they you, haven't you are really... still dying in plane crashes that are linked. Yeah. Who steps to them? Dude. And, and I, wait, 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 hold no on. And the wild thing, you know why the plane crashed? It's because supposedly the guy on the wrong car fuel. side. Yeah, wrong put the car. wrong fuel in. He put jet fuel in and <laughs> the engine required like, like our regular buddy, aviation <laughs> fuel. And it was just an honest mistake. He claimed the pilot said I'm, several times, no, put the jet fuel into this plane. I know full well does not take jet fuel and will cause it to crash. 
And JB, my sources that told me wow. that the body, the body looked like it was dead before the plane. Who are passed. your sources? Let's yeah, know. I told you before, Anarchy Twitter. God damn it! <laughs> I read that in the local affiliate of Florida as ABC. So that whole jet fuel nonsense is. Oh, that's the excuse. Why don't you that tell it? Why don't you so tell that, us? That's how, their legitimate excuse. Wow. Hey, hey. By the way, did they put like, a, is it like a ga- regular gas station where they're like, here's the jet fuel, here's the regular fuel. Are they right next to each other? Are the pumps right <laughs> next to each other? I fucking doubt it. God. So if any of us gets interviewed on national TV in the next week, can we all just start with Jeffrey Epstein's uh, plastic <laughs> surgeon didn't legitimately die in a plane crash? <laughs> It's a little longer, a little less. Catchy, Jeffrey Epstein's like asked for the real. Uh, fuel, Jeffrey okay? Epstein's banker just died too. He hung himself. Weird. But did he hang himself from a doorknob? I don't know. That's- from a doorknob three feet off the ground when he's Odie. six five. He hung himself by a bullet in the back of his head. Wait a minute, Odie. Were you not on these when we did another show? We're talking about how like Anthony Bourdain hung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Yeah, and he's also Anthony was like six five, six seven. It's like you can't. Hang yourself when you're taller than the doorknob. It's all it's so fucking crazy. Out, and then you'd be not. Hung. You can though. I guess anything is possible, but that's like the neck. worst possible way to like. I, I, it just doesn't make any sense. No, it's not the worst possible way. Come on, you could like push yourself forward. There's so many higher things you could hang yourself on in a hotel room. Oh, it doesn't oh. make any sense. Like, As I just said, like the worst way to kill yourself. Like, <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense that people would die that way though. You push yourself forward from the doorknob, mm. and then I guess okay, it's tight. Then you fall back, and it would release a little bit. You would. It's just it, it's insane. It doesn't make sense. It's like people walking into the water. Like I walked into a lake and I drowned. It to you, it doesn't make sense to me. Every time I watch a movie or a TV show where someone's where someone's being like smothered or I choked to death or whatever, like why don't you just like pretend like oh okay now I'm dead. And then when they let go, then be like ah oh, no I'm not dead. No, and why do that. people <laughs> when they're shot like twenty feet away and the person thinks they're dead? Why do they start crawling? Yeah, I wouldn't crawl. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I didn't kill you. You got to use the evil dead uh, army of darkness where it's like, yeah, like eventually Ash gets wise. He, he shoots the deadites and he's like, no, nah, no, nah, she ain't dead. Watch. And then he, he gets close enough, but he doesn't shoot her like an idiot. And she gets up and smacks him. Well, it's like if you ever get attacked by a grizzly bear, you play dead. You pretend that you're dead. And then they, they don't want to eat you. They just wanted to kill you. So they're just, just supposed to fall just just immediately. What about the bears that eat you, though? Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends how hungry the bear is, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and how horny. What if the bear is Owen Benjamin? What if bears the bear is Owen Benjamin? <laughs> bears Ooh. are monsters. He's like, look, hey, I just want to tell you, God's real. You got to read the Bible. I'm like, kill me. Please maul me, Owen. Maul me. Dude, dude, male bears kill newborn cubs like they're Governor North of Virginia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what I just realized about Owen Benjamin? Like he says, like, I'm the big bear. Like, oh, I'm this big, you know, I'm gonna give you a hug. I'm this big, nice guy. Bears are the most dangerous creatures <laughs> out there, man. There's nothing soothing so, about so that. Polar bears are I, the only I other think Owen, I animal think besides I humans that kill for fun. Guy ever. I guarantee it. Guaranteed sweetest guy. Well, dolphins killed for fun, too. I love I do love well, Owen Benjamin. He's I, I do think he's uh uh, he's gotten uh, too insane for the average person to enjoy, but I still enjoy him. Not insane. JB, too JB I'll, I'll, I'll amend my statement. Um, polar bears are the only animals that I know of that kill for fun besides humans. <laughs> <laughs> besides Hillary Clinton. Ooh. Oh, well, she's... Oh, I, oh, oh yeah. But d- if you guys have seen those new pictures, I think she might have been dead because she's been crazy. She's lost it. She's calling everybody a Russian oh, no, asset. This is a Maybe they got rid of her. These pictures, you guys. So I'm saying, I'm saying Howie. Jeffrey Epstein's alive. Hillary Clinton's dead. Mute. Howie, shush. I don't know what pictures we're talking about here. What What are the pictures? Yeah, me too. Just search. Search Hillary Clinton looks stunning or something. I, I can't December tell, 10th, I can't December tell which, is the, which is the before and after, the left or the right. How, how can I figure? It hills up all the other searches I've done for December that. 10th and December 14th. So that makes sense if Hillary Clinton's dead because that would explain why she hasn't officially entered the race. She was fucking losing it, dude. She was like hey, going off the rails. Hey, Elizabeth Banks in person, the actress? If, maybe if maybe they if aged I'm, her up and now she's Hillary Clinton. And Bill Clinton's like, oh, yeah, sugar cookie. Maybe we should do that on our next conspiracy corner. If Hillary Clinton's actually dead, Jeffrey Epstein's alive. Wait, which? Oh, my God. She looks 
wait, looks incredibly the Daily Mail thing. Yeah, yeah I'm reading the Daily Mail too. I was like, if I'm looking at the same she picture, looks, she looks really different and a million times worse. Is it the lack of adrenochrome? Like a sack of dog shit on the left if and a human on the right, kind of. She can't shape shift anymore. Oh my good. god. If Ruth Bader Ginsburg is still now, alive, like but look, at, look at like the it, skull and shit. Like if plastic surgeon her. can't move where your eyes. What, are. what did you guys search to, to see this picture? Dude, it's somebody, somebody posted the same. Somebody post the link in the uh, in the notes here. Okay, hold on, I'll find it. It's, I don't it's, have uh, a link. I'm just talking off of experience. I'll find it. I, I got it already. Time. I'll post it right now so you can see it. All right, got it. Thank you. And I'll also forget. Am I still trapped in a bag or no? No. No, no, you're out of the bag. Oh, you're okay. trapped in a world where Jeffrey Epstein's alive and Hillary Clinton's dead. That's actually better than the reverse. I think. That is the best. What the hell? World. It's a marshmallow <laughs> world you will live in. I heard cheekbones like that. Ooh, yeah, she looks like a bird or something. She looks really weird. Is she this, this like not a, what you guys were talking about? That's not her. I don't know what you're looking at, but the person pretending her. to be Hillary Clinton now is not Hillary Clinton. I hate the I hate the Daily Mail. So many ads. The God. chick from no, a guy, a girl in a pizza weird. place, and Scrubs. I think that she took over for Hillary Clinton now. Nobody, nobody. No, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's, that's, that's clearly not her, right? Her, eye, she have, her head is different. Her head's a bigger size. Her nose is either, much longer. It's her with a lot of shit done or not her. <laughs> and here's the thing. The thing is, pictures that look like her and pictures that don't, 10 days apart. You well, can't have plastic surgery thing. and be back in public without you bleeding from your face. Like Mika uh, Brzezinski <laughs> at Trump's place. <laughs> her nose is a lot farther down. That's what's creeping me out. Maybe it's just close. So I don't know. It, it looks completely like, yeah, something fucked up happened to her face. Oh. Whoever this maybe is, Bill, I hope they maybe Bill I hope they get an election in her face and his acid cum melted it. It does look kind of melted. She so does look have a more human face in may, the older maybe pictures. She insisted yeah. on running for president again and they like gave her like a lobotomy. And... I think she's like, I gotta run again. She's like, I have to look younger than Trump. And they're like, All right, well, this is the way to go. So they just stapled baby butt cheeks to her face. Oh, like maybe it was like maybe <laughs> like two baby maybe asses Jeffrey- were stapled to each cheek. Maybe she Jeffrey. Definitely, Epstein, she definitely had some sort of work done. With Jeffrey Epstein's like plastic surgeon was like the best, and now he's dead. So they got some hack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the like the bags under her eyes are gone. Her face is like, kind of been oh, like. Why erased. did we kill the plastic surgeon? <laughs> Somebody call Nick Cage. I need an expert opinion from Face Off or John Travolta. I suppose. <laughs> oh, One of that's them. such a great movie. Face Off, where he rubs his face like Face Off. <laughs> Horrible film. Okay. Let's wrap this shit up. Oh, my favorite. We just part. started. I feel like we just started this <laughs> podcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you, guys, you guys are having totally different experiences than, than me and Rico. <laughs> I also feel like we just started this podcast, but I know we started it two and a half oh, hours man. ago is when we started the very are, first podcast. Are we first. doing a bonus show? <laughs> what? Yeah, Mark, we're going to do a bonus show. <laughs> is the but, bonus but, show for my show or your show? Uh, neither everybody should let's do two let's do two (laughs) let's do two back to back like the mets the bonus is that you got to see this live viewer in the pride that's what that's the bonus (laughs) and you got to see some rich costume live on uh most podcasts shut their asses down during christmas so let's just be happy we got shows two bonus shows ass to ass like requiem for we leave our asses wide open during the holidays (laughs) that scene has traumatized me ever since i saw it dude i tried to see it so many times but like we would. Uh, I can't. This is the regular show. I can't tell the story. Never mind. Well, you're talking about the ass the ass scene from. Uh, yeah, I can't Green? tell the story. The reason why I wasn't able to see it, I can't tell. No, right I, I can guess. But you've never seen it. No, I've seen it. Well, yeah. I guess we'll do one bonus show. Hold on, I, let me venture a guess, and I'll wrap this show up. Here's why Howie hasn't seen it: because every time they did ass to ass, Howie pulled his pants down, bent over, and pushed his own ass against the screen to take part. This is going to wrap up our very special ELL Christmas episode, everybody. Thanks for listening. We all love you. I hope you had a merry, merry Christmas. I hope you had a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever else is out there. And uh, we will see you on the other side of 2020. So for me, Brian McWilliams from all the lines of liberty here, JB, Odie, Rico, Howie, and Mark, and from Electric Liberty Land, always stay plugged in and keep your Christmas lights plugged in to liberty.
Eyes on mommy take a look, big bomb Underneath the Mises toe last night She didn't see me creep Down the stairs to have a peep She thought that I was tucked up in my bedroom Beating meat Then I saw mommy take a look, big bomb And tell him that his philosophy was right Oh, what a laugh it would have been If Paul Krugman had only seen Mommy kissing Ludwig Bond last night